Shalom. Brother Kabat, back in GMS. Lesson GMS, keep pushing. And before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. The great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. I know Shalom, not a sincere Aki, and throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And I Shalom. To all your sincere followers, believers, if y'all watch me, I'm shy. Not just hears of the word, but doers as well. Amen. Amen. Women and children, I hope for you like Shalom. <clears throat> Back with another lesson through the spirit and power, y'all watch me, I'm shy. Lord willing, it's edifying. Um, as we all should know by now, if you haven't been living on a rock, okay, um, this um, solar eclipse that's getting ready to take place um, tomorrow. <clears throat> um, is a sign that everyone is um, looking for, having parties for, and, you know, the biggest sign that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians should be paying attention to is the signs of the prophets out there on the highways and byways. That's the biggest sign because we're telling you, okay, um, other things is coming to pass in your lifetime right before your very eyes. So don't get caught up in the hype. Yes, these are signs that the Heavenly Father is sending, but at the same time, don't get caught up in the hype. There's no telling what's going to happen. Um, you know, what, what Sleazy E is doing behind the scenes, but it, all is going to be revealed. You know, our main focus should be on the prophecies. This is Matthew 16. And one, it says, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting, desiring him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. And he answered and said unto them, <clears throat> when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather. For the sky is red and in the morning it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but cannot, can ye not discern the sign of the times? That's right. Here it is. Um, no, the, 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 matter of fact, I keep reading. It says, verse 4, A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left and left them and departed. <clears throat> and um, why is the prophets the biggest signs? You know, because um, Jonah was a prophet. Start with had apostles. That was great millstone on down. We're giving you the spiritual forecast of the Heavenly Father and what he's getting ready to do on the earth. All right? And it, it, this is not supposed to be some, you know, damn watch party, all right, with this upcoming eclipse. These are signs that, look, we need to be praying more. We need to be fasting more. We need to be uh, in tune with the Spirit more. And I'll say it again, definitely staying prayed up that Yahweh Bashim Shai has mercy on us, man. Because he he he's getting ready to unleash uh, uh um hell in the earth. You know, this year's been deemed by um Elder Apostle Tahar, um, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And um and you can you can definitely see that playing out. Who knows what type of um F F could happen. All right. If you don't know what FF means by now, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You got kind of speaking code, you know, so these videos don't get flagged or taken down. And I just gave you a hint with the, what one of the words. All right. But anyways, the, the prophets are, are, are going to be the biggest sign that you should be taking heed to. Let's get another one. Hmm. Let's go to, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 says, Hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, <clears throat> speak of unto you, O house of Israel, which once again consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, according to the sea line of your father. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, who are the heathen to other nations, the so-called white man, so-called Chinese, so-called Africans, so-called Japanese, uh, um, um, 
the Ishmaelites, um, you know, all, all, the, all the nations outside of the children of Israel, okay? <clears throat> it says, learn not the way of the heathen, be not dismayed. All right, you're not supposed to be in, in, in awe at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are this made it down. See, these are signs from the heavens. That we're not supposed to be in awe. We're not supposed to be uh, um, dismayed at these signs, man. Don't get caught up in the hype. Get caught up in, in these scriptures. Now, we, we like I said, you know, we're going to wait and see what happens. You know, you got Esau... Um, plan on uh, 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 shooting rockets at the at the at the moon again. Okay, you got him uh, um, with uh, the C E R N trying to, you know, bring in uh, you know demons and open up portals and things of that nature. Well, the Most High might just let him do that. All right, and he and Esau might not be able to get a hand on things. This is the Lord's movie. But things will get out of control one way or the other. <laughs> All right. But anyways, the point is, we're not supposed to be dismayed at these things, man. Our mindset. And, and, and this is part of prophecy. Right? But don't get caught too much in it. This is Sirach. 39 and 1, it says, But he did give up his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. Okay? The Lord said we ought to be occupied in prophecy. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and what subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of the grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. Right? Our conversation is going to be within these deep, dark sayings, man. And what the Lord uh, has coming down the pipeline. And it's, 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 it's nothing nice. And it very well could start Monday. Okay? Stay focused. Let's bring out one last one. Uh, we might bring out two more. further down. No, it's not what I'm looking for. I drew a blank on it, but we ain't off on, on um, Luke 21. This is Luke chapter 21. And I started uh, 34. It says, and take heed to yourselves. Lisa, any time your hearts, meaning your minds, being overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that that day come upon you unawares, right? You know you're, um, you know, doing too much. All right, you 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 drunk off of uh, the philosophies, the doctrines of this world, of this current age. And, and 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 physically drunk as well, you know what I mean? You can't be out here um, just, you know, being a wano, all right? But it says, uh, in the cares of this life, and the cares of this life will, will have you not focused on what's at hand. What's at hand? Jacob's trouble. You know, our Lord and Savior coming back. Yeah, yeah, the... World War Three, the issuing of the Sea Hip. Okay, 
so then the cares of this life and so that, that they come upon you unawares. And it's going to come upon a lot of our people unawares. Hell, I you know, <laughs> some people don't even know this eclipse is getting ready to come. Now, I asked somebody, what do they think about the eclipse? They said, the eclipse, I, I, you know, they didn't know that was even going on. So there's a lot of people don't, that don't even know this thing's about to happen. It says, verse 35, For as a snare, which is a trap, shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. It's talking about the day of the Lord, which we are living in. It's not just one particular day, but it's, 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 it's a, a time period. Like you have an old head say, back in my day, it wasn't one particular day. It was the days that he was living in. All right. We are living in the days of Yahweh Shai, who the world can call Jesus coming back. And he's coming back angry. Matthew 10 and 30, 35, 34 tells you that. And he said, think now I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Reading on verse 35 again says, Luke 21, 35, watch for, for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Verse 36, watch ye therefore. What are we watching for? The prophecies. We're watching for the signs. And yes, <clears throat> the signs in heavens are signs as well, too. But we got to remain focused. Don't get caught up in, um, you know, this being the end. Because this is not the end. All right. People think this solar eclipse is going to come and the world's going to end. No, 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 no. Prophecy has to fulfill itself first. You have to be tempted with the hour of temptation. Jake, you're going to have to go through Jacob's trouble. All right. These things have to come to pass. World War Three has to come to pass before we enter into them ships, Lord will. So it says, verse 36, watch ye therefore and pray always. Always praying, always praying, always praying. It tells in the book of Thessalonians to pray without ceasing. Because we always need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, was it Faith Evans and um that ninja puffy? Uh, made that song every step I take, every move I make. Yeah, we need Yahweh Shai, man. It says, reading on that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. See, our people don't understand that what's getting ready to come to pass, uh, they're not going to have a cloak for their sins, they're not going to have protection, all right? And they're going to be able to cash in with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Because their works are evil. They didn't store up anything. Their spiritual bank account is in the negative, is in the red. But for us and the know, the dust that's been watching, Lord willing, we remain, we're going to be able to cash in and be found worthy. All right? It says to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right? And um, just want to throw that out there. Lord willing, that sounds edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory. To the heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles, a great millstone. Shalom.